time for another G.I. Joe toy review. I apologize for this getting out of day late. Um, I am not feeling my best. Um, <clears throat> whatever this bug is, it's just nasty. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, a viewer donation. Uh, this toy came from New Jersey Ed, a longtime viewer and friend of the channel. I'll apologize for not reviewing it sooner, but um, I was just waiting for a, a good time to do it, and um, this, this seemed to be the perfect time for it. Uh, he's over there really busting his hump um, in New Jersey uh, with the whole COVID thing um, out there being a, a hero to the public. Um, so... Here we go, Ed. I am reviewing the raft you sent me uh, in your honor. Uh, this was released as a part of the Series 4 in 1985. It stayed on the shelves until 1987 when it was discontinued domestically. Uh, it came with... Um, three box variants uh there's a plane the plane box and then a triple win promo then the sergeant slaughter promo uh its original retail price was two dollars and 29 27 cents so let me pull those pictures up for you now this was one toy that john and i did play with when we were kids uh i remember uh when he got it, I helped him put it together, and um, we had a great time with it. We went over to his grandmother's house and uh, played in her um, community swimming pool. She lived in a, a retirement community, so we had a few Joes out there with this raft, and it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of cool play features with this. Um, it is quite popular on the aftermarket, so if you're looking for it, it's out there. Uh, finding it complete is a, a different story. Uh, there's a lot of smalls that come with this that are easily lost, and you will pay a premium to, to get them. So, uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this raft. I, I just really love this thing. All right, here it is, the Cobra Night Landing. Like I said, it comes with a lot of accessories, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first accessory. It is this radio. Uh, nice detail on it. The sticker on there is pristine. Uh, hollow on the back. Uh, the handle is a little thick, so I wouldn't try to um, put that in the hands of an action figure. But uh, that is a really cool play feature. Comes with a shovel. It's your your standard entrenching tool, kind of like um, what came with the bivouac, uh, made out of this black plastic. This is the hardest piece to find and the most expensive. Uh, a buoy knife, uh, same black plastic. Uh, I've seen them as low as $5.99 all the way up to $20. Uh, came with a, uh, this looks like a grease gun. Uh, pretty cool looking gun. Uh, real world weapon actually. On the front... It uh, came with this machine gun. Uh, very nice looking piece. It fits right into the hole on the front of the raft here. So you could have a, a defense for the raft. This is a Zodiac raft. It is a real world uh, a piece of equipment used by uh, special forces around the world. Uh, on the back here comes with a a motor. 
with a spinning prop. Uh, the motor cover, see if that comes off. I haven't taken it off. I'm not going to force it. Um, it also has this handle to where the driver could operate the the motor on the back nice little rope wrapping all the way around the raft in the cobra blue uh, inside it has two boards wood bottom and these two oars that stick out to the side very simple toy really cool cool to play with it does float uh, we had a great time with it in the water as you can see here on the bottom, it says 1985 Hasbro Bradley, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Uh, I do highly recommend that you guys get this. It's a great little toy to have. The accessories really make it all that much better. I mean, you have your, your night landing craft. You could see, it kind of reminds me of James Bond. You know, he pulls up on a beach buries the boat and he's out there trying to sneak in on the bad guys uh, this gun is another favorite feature of mine oh yeah apologize for not being as enthusiastic today uh, i seriously i do recommend you guys get one of these uh, they're a lot of fun to have uh, kids can play with them in the bathtub or the swimming pool or even you all right that brings me to my favorite segment Byron's gripes uh, the place on the aftermarket they're up, they are out there uh, finding it like I said finding it complete is a little bit of a challenge the raft with the oars uh, by this by itself nothing else sixteen dollars eleven cents the knife this is the deal of the day five dollars on the knife uh, snatch that up that's the hardest part to find um, all the accessories without the the grease gun $24.99, bit high on that. The raft with, with no knife, but all the rest of the accessories, $29.99. Complete raft with everything, $31 to $42.99. The radio, $1.99 to $6. That's insane. Six bucks, no. Uh, that, you can find it much cheaper, uh, not six dollars. <throat> Excuse me. The raft uh, missing the oars, nineteen ninety nine. The front gun, the main gun that mounts on the front of the raft, uh, six ninety nine. The motor with the hand control and the the prop. Four ninety nine to eight ninety nine. The blueprints five bucks. Shovel two seventy four to five bucks. Uh, a little much for the shovel. The machine gun, the the grease gun, four dollars to uh, four ninety nine. The engine cover two ninety nine. Uh, there is one mint in box with an AFA grade uh, of. $1,000. Uh, I'm not an AFA guy. Uh, you've been watching the show long enough. You you know that I just don't do that. I, I won't go for an AFA. I'm trying to pull the engine cover off, but it's stuck on there. Um, I just wanted to show you that. But um, this is a really cool toy, guys. Um, it, it displays well. Uh, doesn't take up much room at all 
and it's a lot of fun. I remember John and I had a great time with it. Uh, you know, at the original retail price, you know, two dollars seventy-four cents. It, you know, a little more than a an action figure, but you know, you get a, a cool toy, you get a, a cool vehicle. So. Uh, I'm going to cut this short. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, you guys stay safe out there. Uh, keep your hands washed. Uh, wear your masks. Uh, as always, uh, be kind to one another. <laughs> I just never know what kind of day someone is having. Uh, as you can tell, yeah, my fever broke finally. Um, so, you guys stay safe out there. Be kind to one another, especially be kind to animals. You never know what kind of day they're having. <laughs> I am delirious. Um, you, you get the point. All right, I'm not going to bother editing that. Just be kind. <laughs> so, we'll see you next week. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. And especially thank you to my newest subscribers. So this is Joe Moshe Videos 82 signing off. Take care. See you next week for another G.I. Joe toy review.